Hey there, everybody. So this podcast was like, I think it was an hour. It was an hour cut out of a like two hour conversation that I had with family back in Florida. Um, we were, well, two of us were pretty, pretty liquored up. Me, me and my stepbrother, I think, well, he, he was drinking from like 3 p.m. And I did this at like 1 a.m. And then I started drinking at 6 and went through almost an entire bottle of, of whiskey. So I think, I think I still think it was pretty intelligible. I, I think what we said made sense. Uh, oh, topic. We were talking about, uh, Donovan had this dumb like idea of what the definition of selfish was. And we didn't really realize it until the end that his definition was different than what my definition was, which is why I like to start conversations like this with defining what we're talking about. But I think because both of us were, were pretty, pretty gone. Like I remember everything, but you know, we drank a lot. It was Christmas Eve. So, um, yeah, we weren't the only ones there, but we didn't define the term. So you're, you're coming in, you know, halfway through the conversation when, when it kind of picks up. And I haven't really listened to it, so I, I think it makes sense. But if it doesn't, I'm sorry. Um, but I, it was fun. It was a good conversation. I, I, we went, I went back to Florida, and it was really cool to see all my family. And hang out with everyone and it's kind of become a tradition now to to not necessarily drink but to end up having a fireside podcast oh uh yeah so it's by the fire so the audio is kind of eh. so I, I cleaned it up as much as i could i cut out some of the fire sounds but donovan was sitting i don't know 10 feet away from me so at, at different parts he might sound a little quiet um, there's two other people and they might sound a little quiet and they're you just enjoy what you can. Um, on that note of it being a tradition, there is an old podcast that Justin Velez and I did that I think I'm going to release next week. It's done. I've had it for a year. I just never released it. Uh, so you can have that come and just uh, have that come. You can have that. Uh, as like a happy 2020 welcome end of the decade thing. Uh, I think that's it. I think that covers all the stuff. Um, I think I've rambled enough. It is early in the morning. I can really only do these in the morning when my roommate hasn't gotten up yet because I don't want to bother him while he's on his computer. And, uh, yeah, so I try to do this when I wake up, but then my brain doesn't work as well because I just woke up. So, yeah. I hope you guys like it, and I'll catch you next decade. Bye. But there's so much of no life. And we are the anomaly. Maybe. Maybe, exactly. From our understanding, but we'll be the opposite of our life. That doesn't have anything to do necessarily with yin and yang, because this, this planet is yin and yang, just like the Earth. This planet needs is one extreme, to stay together. supposedly, of yin and yang. We don't know Good, that it's bad, an extreme. Whatever. No. We don't know, but from our understanding of it, it is an extreme. From our understanding of carbon based life, Yes. Okay. Yes. So, we look at the rest of the universe, our observable universe, as lifeless as far as we can tell. And we are the anomaly. So, what's the extreme of that? What's the opposite extreme of that? That's hard. In terms of yin and yang, that can't exist. Because... There has to be. There has to be. No, because yin and yang are not necessarily extremes. Well... No, they are. The, uh, they're extremes with a little bit. All right, so they're both. They're not right. ones and zeros, but they're like point one or 
Well, they're both. Ratio. I mean, the idea of yin and yang is just balance. It's so like, it is, but it is both. It is both zero it's and one hundred, as it is fifty-one and forty-nine. Yeah, exactly. It's good and bad, with the bad having a little bit of good in it, and the good having a little bit of bad in it. Mm-hmm. So, but not not necessarily good and bad, just different. I guess if you really wanted to do that, if you really wanted to do that, then we would say that the Earth would be yang and the Moon would be yin. They both actually need each other to exist. So, yes. Does the Earth need the Moon to exist? 100%. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Gravitational because we have so much water well, well, right, on this planet. Alright, well, hold on. And also, sorry, magnetism, necessary. Just does, like atoms need that charge, Earth needs Well, what that happens if the Moon well. disappeared? Waves would stop. Tides would go away. Alright, and die. how would that Ocean life would us? die. We can't eat. And honestly, start, nocturnal creatures you know, would not be able to hunt, which yeah. would harm the ecological system. Or the nocturnal, ecosystem. Why, why wouldn't nocturnal, nocturnal creatures be able to because hunt? Because the moon, the moon would give light. Yeah. It wouldn't give light anymore. Would it throw yeah. off our orbit? I feel like it would. That as well. I don't, I don't know for sure, but I, I imagine it's powerful right enough that it throw off our yeah. orbit. Yeah. Well, I'm talking about is uh, stuff that I don't know anything about. So Yeah, we're getting into it. Like, we're, we're a bunch of idiots. <laughs> we're getting into so. astronomy now. <laughs> None of us are, uh, are NASA scientists, yeah. so... But right, in go. theory, we're smart enough to figure out possible. We're smarter than the average. I was thinking about this today in the shower. Well, all <laughs> I thought about this in this in the shower. No one else thinks in the shower. I'm a big brain boy. But also, I do the same like, thing. <laughs> the whole thing is like, oh yeah, you know, humans. We're smarter than everything else on the earth. But really, we're just stupid monkeys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're still smarter than everything else, but we're still stupid. Yeah. Are we though? We don't know. We can't right. talk to dolphins. They're smart as fuck. Oh my god. In, in comparison to everything else that we know. Yeah. But in comparison are, the, to are they dumb? Dolphins Do we know they're dumb? I mean, How do we they know they're dumb? Created super civilization? Why, why is that the only qualification it's for being smart? Maybe they're wrong. No, seriously. Maybe, maybe they're wrong. Or maybe we're wrong. Maybe the smartest thing is to integrate yourself with nature and just live and be happy. Yeah. And hang out with your family. And yeah. hang out with your friends. How do we know that we're the smart ones? And rape things that you can control. Don't we rape too? As not, humans, don't humans rape too? Not as a mass too? majority, though. Maybe not now. <laughs> But I'm, 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 All right, so maybe dolphins are more advanced than us. Maybe I don't know. I don't know how much dolphins rape. What I'm saying is like, <laughs> no, no, dolphins rape, otters rape, the the whole nature of, of like animals that has rape sex for pleasure rapes. Right. Well, what I'm saying is, how do why why is what we say like why is manipulating your environment the only qualification of intelligence that we have? Whales have a super complex language that we can't even decode. Well. <laughs> All right. Yes, it is complex. 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 <laughs> yes, it is complex. Mr. And yes, German scientist down underneath. <laughs> yes, we can't decode it, but that does not make it smarter or lesser than ours. Yeah, it doesn't de- make it necessarily lesser. Whales haven't decoded our language. They haven't learned how to communicate with us. We don't know that because we haven't decoded their language. But well, the fact that we haven't communicated with them. Means that they haven't learned how to communicate. <laughs> I think if you're doing that, you can only compare apex predators, right? In the, wouldn't a whale be an apex? A killer. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, an orca would yeah, be a killer whales would be an apex predator. They are very smart and they learn very easily. Yeah, dolphins are not apex predators, so we no. could necessarily could not compare ourselves to them. Okay, that's fair. And honestly, orcas do the craziest shit ever, and you're like, what the fuck? They are very <laughs> smart mammals. I don't know. I just, I just, I don't know. To, to say that we're, we're necessarily the smartest. I feel like we're the smartest, but I don't know that we... we're the smartest, you know? I think so. I, I, I mean, I, to be honest. Not to be arrogant as a species, <laughs> but look at what we've done. Exactly. We have colonized the world. As a species, we have taken over every other species in the world mm-hmm. that we know of. I mean... But is that necessary? Okay, so Our, we're we're measuring. No, but no, 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 no. So we're measuring intelligence and and supremacy as we're we're measuring those by the fact that we have built more and manipulated our environment more. But is that the correct metric to measure success? There's no way to tell because that's what we. What I'm saying is there. There's many metrics. Maybe maybe happiness is a metric, and maybe okay. we're not the happiness 
the the most happy species. Maybe l- let's right, say no dolphins are okay. Beach, as of right now, whales right. beach themselves because they're also depressed. Do they? Do, yes. yes. How, how do we know it's really really because they they're do. depressed? So essentially, they commit suicide. Because of, I think brain studies, honestly. Okay. I think that's what was what happened. There. I don't know enough to discount you. But, so. <laughs> But I don't know whales beat themselves, so they also them. experience emotions. Yeah. They do. So yeah. Manipulating yeah. your environment do too. does... And living with them, we know that. Yeah, manipulating your environment does make you more intelligent because how we not, we would not have survived. Period. Period. That, but that's not what I'm saying. Okay. I'm saying that the Art. idea that the metric of, of manipulating your environment, making you smarter... Doesn't make you could not be the correct metric. All right, so what do you because because if, if we let's let's like <laughs> thought experiment, okay. in a, if we could be in a world where everyone was one hundred percent happy, regardless of what it looked like, is that the best? Well, the, the thing is the best world. Is it a consistent happy? But, what what makes people it, happy? Killing each other? I don't know. Like, I don't know. But our, our, no, 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 wait, no. Our, our, that's let's, step two. Let's, that's step two. Not, don't get you. Let's, let's not focus on like the the intricacies of it. Let's okay. focus on the base. I can't help. It's it a moment. utopia. <laughs> is what you're saying? A world where it's utopia. Like like the perfect world is where everyone is 100 percent happy. This thing is, you can't have that's the yin that, and yang. No, but that that's not the argument. Let let let's fall let's follow the train. Okay. So if if the ideal in a perfect utopia, which is unattainable, that everyone is 100% happy, okay. is that better or worse than expanding as far as we can, which is what humans do? It's I probably mean, better, but it it's also like super. It's depends. Okay, well, are, well, because then you're breaking you're breaking the argument between an individual and as a species, as a group. So as an individual, I want to be happy. I mm-hmm. want to be happy for the rest of my life. That's what we all strive for. And if sacrificing our species for my individuality is what it takes, then I feel like most people will make that sacrifice. Your personal gain over the rest of everybody else. And vice versa. Re- rephrase it, because I'm, I'm kind of lost. Because my, my question is it is it the correct metric to measure intelligence and success by expanding civilization or is a could it be that a better metric is measuring the global happiness? It's biased either way you anybody who asks is biased. Well, of course it's biased. It, you, there's no way to answer that. Well, you have to have some outside species which can communicate. Well, well I outside. mean, l- let's try to think about it from from a, from a third party perspective. Okay. If you're looking at a group of all right, so ants, all right, let's take ants. Let, let's say let's let's say we have this bowl of ants and they just keep growing two and bowls. growing. Two bowls. Of ants. Okay, we have two bowls of ants, and one is just happy and just chilling. They they're not they're never going to intersect. They just they just sustain what they're at. They sustain. They never they never go lower. Everyone's happy. Everyone's like just content. Then you have another one that keeps growing and growing and growing, and they overflow the bowl. That everyone is like, well, not everyone. Let's say thirty percent is real upset. Which which society at that point would you rather live in? Like I I don't know. I would prefer a society where I'm happy. But which one? How do you know? You're 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 in this in, in it's 100%. in bowl A. In bowl A, you're one hundred percent happy. In well, bowl B, seventy percent you could be happy. Thirty percent you could be depressed and want to well, die. Well, then it breaks down into what what do you consider happy? Okay, so like bowl A, everyone's happy. Like okay, yeah, I'm sustaining. I'm I'm happy because I have food. I have shelter. But then you break it down to where like, okay, well yeah, I'm happy, but I have to maintain everybody else's happiness. I can't have kids because if I have kids, then it breaks it up. We add more people. And then it breaks up the happiness because we can't. We can only expand so much. Well, let's assume you're happy to do that. Well, my you're point, ex- my point is that, what if my happiness is to have kids, and but I can't because everybody else is in that bowl and but, they're only so big. But let's let's just, let's assume just for the thought experiment that in society A, you don't have that urge. Okay. You're only you don't have ha- the urge to reproduce. Right. Your your urge is only to sustain yourself, and that's it. Right. Yeah. So my, my, my thought is, is forever growth the correct metric to measure a successful society against? Or is it the collective happiness? Is, is it better to have a happy society than a growing society? I'd say collective happiness. That's my opinion. 
can't. Because then you that changes. Let, let's say I let, I'll give yeah, 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 you can go. go. go, go, go. Let's say and this is all thought experiment. So I, I don't. I'm an idiot. I don't know what I'm talking about. You're very smart. No, I'm not. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> so let's say that. No, you're wonderful and amazing. So let, let let's say that, for the sake of the argument, that dolphins are perpetually happy. Let's say there are zero upset, sad dolphins. Okay. But they have done nothing to grow outside of the ocean. Compared to us, who have done amazing things. Like, oh, I, I mean, humans are incredible. But suppose they were unhappy. There's a lot of us who are unhappy. Majority of unhappy. Now, is, are, are we better or just different? Are we just using different metrics to... Ooh, that's fire. <laughs> are we just using different metrics to... It's all to subjective. measure happiness, it's, it's all subjective. It, it is, it's all but opinion. but a, that's what I'm saying. Like I I can't I can't in 100 percent confidence say that humans are smarter or better than dolphins, because maybe the metrics are different. Maybe 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 we're using the wrong metrics to measure happiness or to or to measure success, success. Or, or intelligence. Or maybe yeah. Okay. <laughs> Smart, pretty girl, go. I feel almost as if we've hit our threshold in society mm. where where we have sort of reached the maximum bandwidth of not maximum bandwidth but we're pretty fucking close to the maximum bandwidth of our growth right so I feel like we have come to a point where information is so Rarely. like w- like we, we yes like honestly the, the, the pinnacle of our growth is the fact that information is so readily available so, but, uh, what was I going to say? <laughs> because of that, I feel like, I feel like we are sort of dialing back a bit because all this information is available. We're dialing back into a more medium area where we can sort of be more happy in general. If you think about the suicide rate has dropped by almost 40%. 40%? Has it? Has it? it has. I, I, for my, or, Compared or, to what? Compared to whatever, I don't I mean, know. No, but that's important. Like, be, I, don't, important. I, don't, I don't know the number. It all the depends on like where you put that in time. But also, from my understanding, is information is more readily available versus before it was. We don't know that the suicide rate has been better or dropped. And also, it's, we can compare been, to the 1920s at least. It's been a thing. It's been a thing. Documented the, for a while. Yeah, it's but been is a it thing accurate, where it's been dropping. Do we, do we have? Uh, do we have? Access to that documentation. We do now, yeah. yeah. Well, it's all we digitized. Know? What about lost documentation? There was no digital age during the 1920s. So what about no, 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 but they've digitized that yeah, information they, now. Yeah. The information that was available at the time and that we found and mm-hmm. that was recorded. Right, but it's not what like we've had a, we haven't had a burning of Alexandria. It's not like we've lost an entire library okay. because of a siege, you know? I think, I think it's safe to assume that the majority of our information from the, let's say, 1900s is relatively accurate. Okay. I think I feel like that's safe. I don't know. I'm an idiot, so I don't know. <laughs> but I think that we can we can assume that that's that's accurate. Okay. I mean, I don't know everything either, but like I think that we're getting back to we we've, we've gone here, and we're like, hold on a second, wait a minute, we probably should dial it back a bit. Now we're kind of in the middle ground again. Where we're, well, Most I think, people are going back to more of a simple I, way of being. I think personally that we're in the process of dialing it back. Agreed. Mm-hmm. Where yeah. we're fighting against a majority of people who have taken advantage of our system. Mm-hmm. They found that they could take advantage of it. And the majority of people, or I'm sorry, not the majority of people are taking advantage of it. There are a select few people who are taking advantage of this system. And the majority of people are saying, hey, that's fucked up. We need to balance this shit out. Let's equalize this shit. Yeah. And it's easier to to see it now. Right. Also, real quick, I would like to address. Uh, I know you guys have not watched Naruto. But you and I. Have. <laughs> but Naruto, and we all know what chakra is because we know yeah. Naruto was there. We're the whole thing was like, oh, chakra was meant to like connect people. Like, oh, I have these feelings, and this is how I'm imp- how you're gonna empathize with me because I can share my feelings with you. But it was turned into a weapon. Mm-hmm. So, like. Tech, our technology has turned into our chakra. We're able to express huh? our feelings. No, I get that. Yeah. Like, cause like, so like you and me take internet out of the equation. It's just you and me. I might be afraid of expressing how I really feel be- due to 
how you might react to that. Mm -hmm. Correct? And I feel like most people feel that way. Solar plexus. <laughs> sure. Which is the chakra. Where, whereas the internet gives you the ability to express your feelings behind a shroud, in a sense. Mm -hmm. So you can put your feelings out there without your face. So here's my feelings, and here you you can rece receive them without me having any neg negative reper repercussions. In a sense, you know, I'll have your opinion, but it won't come directly on me. Right. Mental. I mean, it will come mentally, but not socially. Uh -huh. Makes sense. That's how I feel the internet. <laughs> no, <laughs> I. <laughs> I no, but I, I think that's that's pretty accurate. Like we have, let's let's look at Facebook in 2007 okay. that was just a way for people to talk yes I don't think it was any... a way to communicate with each other easily yeah me. and and I don't think that was anyone thought of oh like maybe this will influence the elections in right. 10 years no right exactly no one thought that like I, you, I you can't that. you can't project what tools will be used for I can't make you buy for. things I can't make you vote on this yada 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 I cannot influence yeah, I can't influence you. Well, it's like I I don't I assume that the person who invented the hammer wasn't thinking that it could be used as a murder tool. Huh. It's a way to drive nails into wood, <laughs> right. not a way to drive someone's head like Crushed. concave in and broken. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Explode. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't remember exactly how this ties into what you said, but I I agree with what you're saying. Interesting. I, want, I really you wish you would mansplain me because I want to understand what I don't want to mansplain so, you. All right, all right, so, I want to know. So have you watched I want to just explain like to adults. No, so mansplain. have you watched Naruto? <laughs> so, I kind of like it. <laughs> you watch it with me. Yeah. So have you watched Naruto, any of the show? Mm -hmm. You know nothing about it? No. Okay, so essentially Chakra, which is an energy, mm -hmm. they can make like superpowers, like shoot fireballs and whatever else oh, you can sweet. Your magic. Yeah, exactly. Water, I watched Dal Bender from dragons, UFC. I can, Watch it with me. Control you. Whatever your fucking imagination may be mine. Or imagine. Essentially, long story short, it all summarized from this chick finding this fruit, and it was intended. Eve? Yeah, basically. She yeah, ate it, like, oh, I have this power. I'm going to share it with everybody with the intention of I have this feeling. I want you to actually feel it. So I'm feeling this way. You're going to feel it. And now you can understand how I feel. And then we can relate. And vice versa, ah, and throughout the entire world. Mm -hmm. But instead, people are like, "Well, fuck! I can use this for you know, shoot fireballs and shit. <laughs> fuck that! I'm gonna you know use personal gain." And that was what I feel like the internet's become. Whereas, oh, I see, I see. Where I see, I see. we, you know, it initially okay. started out as like, "Hey, I can say what I want to feel or want to say without like, hey, I'm gay, and I don't have to worry about you saying, oh, you're a faggot.'" And that's yeah. wrong, you know. I can I can say it, and not have to deal with like the actual like face to face repercussions of it. Yeah, and maybe if you can tell your story, that person can read the story right. and, and be like, "Oh, and maybe I get that. I felt ostracized before." And now it's become it become weaponized versus you know ads and weapon like and, using it as a weapon. Yeah, exactly. legitimately. Not maybe not a physical weapon, but a social weapon. Yeah, I wonder how VR will will change that too. VR or augmented reality? VR. Specifically VR. How so? V okay, so imagine that VR is so good that it is, it is indistinguishable from real life. Okay, okay, all right, so hold on. VR, to me, is visual. Virtual reality. Virtual reality. Yeah. And in that, you can distinguish it from reality. I know, but I'm saying let's let's imagine... So you're now you're talking about augmented reality. So no. VR becomes where... I'm in my video, I'm seeing shit, and I'm seeing you digitally, you reach out and you touch me and I feel it. That's augmented reality. Is that what you're talking That's about? That's not augmented reality. Augmented reality is you're looking through a lens and you're seeing, like I see Andrea, but there's something that says, uh, girl, uh, like whatever. It just adds like data to an already existing thing. Okay, Virtual yeah. reality. See, that's what I was telling you earlier. Okay, well, maybe I have an incorrect definition. <laughs> virtual reality is completely virtual spaces. Imagine you can go into World of Warcraft. You can go into Azeroth and completely feel every sensory input. You okay, can see, you that's can, what I know is augmented reality. That No, that's not augmented reality. Okay. Augmented reality is the all. Augmented is like. Is enhancing okay. thing like a breast augmentation is enhancing something that's already there okay so 
imagine a world where virtual reality is as is perfect. It is as good you can as engulf yourself into a virtual world. Right. You can you can Become, you can you can go into a virtual world, basically. Right, right. You can experience a story that is that feels one hundred percent real. So then people can create these these worlds and these stories that make you feel what it feels like to be let's just to follow up on your example, a gay man who is coming out of the closet. Okay. Then you can truly feel not just sympathize, but empathy. I forget which is which. Empathize is I. When you really feel it, not okay. imagine and what it is. Empathize, I can put myself in your shoes. Sympathize is. I don't know. I feel bad. Sympathize. I feel bad for yeah. you. For you, yeah. So, yeah, so you can empathize that with sucks something. for you. Like, you can seriously feel it, not just so imagine empathize. what it feels like. That feels like what you're talking about with the ch- with the chakras and i feel like that is something that is on the horizon now right. and i hope with- it is and but like the thing is okay so take your example me as an average joe mm-hmm. and virtual reality to that extent becomes a reality would it become to the point where i have to experience that or i have to do it by choice i think and everything should be by choice well, that, that's where the fucking bridge comes. Say, I'm against gay. I'm, I'm super Christian. Joel Osteen Christian. I say, fuck gays. They should burn in hell. Does Joel Osteen believe that? I don't know, but... I don't think so. Uh, but okay. that's where I'm going May, to May, I'm just making sure. I'm assuming think, he does. Let's think, just say, the, so. whoever leads the Westboro Baptist yeah, Church. There we go. That's we know that they're shit. <laughs> and I say, fuck you, gays are wrong. And I don't. I choose not to view that. What then? Now I'm stuck in my belief... The opportunity for me to empathize with you is there, but I'm stuck with that. I think now I'm. I mean, obviously I'm in the wrong, right? Mm-hmm. But here we are. I you think, can't force me to do anything due mm-hmm. to our country and what we're based on. No, but I think it's it's a generational thing. Like he's he's already. So you, it's just a matter of waiting him out. Let kind him, of let that that ideology die out. Well, it's like, think of how quick the gay marriage thing happened. Like, Obama ran on a platform that that marriage was between a man and a woman, and that was 2008. Did he? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Like, that was a, I don't know if that was, like, a main point, but that was a, a belief. That was his belief. That was a thing. Well, that was his belief. That was a thing he said. Okay. So, in, within, what, I don't know, five, six years it became a non-issue. Okay. Like, no one talks about it now. Right. There's no one saying, like, gay shouldn't be married. I mean, there are those, like... In, in, in like, a mainstream thing. I work for one of them. Yeah. <laughs> but a mainstream person is no longer saying, like, oh, gay shouldn't be married. Okay. Like, fuck off. Like, right. who gives a shit? Like, yeah. you're wrong now. We're majority rules now. Yeah. And that was... I mean, I don't know what contributed to that. I'm sure there's many aspects. But what I'm, what I'm saying is that if there's a way for you to experience all sorts of different paths in life that you can never experience on your own that the younger people will just do it because it's fun right like we watch movies because they're fun right because they're they're cool from reality in a a fantasy world yeah and you you get to see different like realities like take out the the marvels and take out the star wars movies even those i mean that gives you i mean minus the, the the action of it there's still core beliefs behind those movies yeah, that are in in those mo- in those corporations generally leaning towards the popularity, which right now is towards the good. Yeah, that's but I mean, and, but let, let's look at like um, what are the more like poignant movies? Something like Brokeback Mountain or or what was it? Moonlight? Something Moonlight? Um, uh, I think it was just Moonlight. Was it just Moonlight? I think so. Yeah, I, but, I, I didn't see it, but I know it was like gay guy and something else. But yeah, I never saw it, but gay like theme. I know that was supposed to be like a like a, a meaningful movie. Right. But the idea, so if you could, let's picture in ten years, virtual reality is indistinguishable from reality. Okay, so you delve you, yourself into a virtual world. Yep. You feel everything. It's based on right what we're feeling right now. Right. Exactly, and. And people are creating stories within those worlds that you can experience okay. for free or for 20 bucks like a movie. Right. How will that change people's interpretation of other people? If you, if you can watch a movie that or a movie, an experience that's incredible, so well written, and all you have to do is put on a helmet 
and you feel and, what and it's like to be a gay it. man who has to come to, out. To, to spend the $20. Yeah, like, yeah, $20, and, and in 10 years, that'll be and nothing. It would just become that, and I feel like that would limit a lot of our issues. But, yeah, exactly. Issues. Imagine how much will be cleared up just by being able to... To, as, to, it. to to experience it, to actually be able to feel the hatred or be able to feel the the feelings of empathy when you finally find someone who accepts you. Like and and I don't remember how this started, but my point I know it relates back to the chakras that you're talking about right. in Naruto, how it was someone who just wanted to like, here, this is how I feel. Here you go, yeah, here's right. a package. Empath- yeah. Like here's it, my feelings. if that's a thing that can really be done. I don't know. It could do a lot of good, but it could just turn into, hey, how can I weaponize this and make people hate right. and there, whatever. You know what the sad, sad thing is? is there's, a, there's a yin and a yang. <laughs> Fucking yeah. <laughs> there's a good and they're bad. There's always going to be someone there to take it to their advantage. But I think people are good, mostly. And it's, a, it's like a weird and feeling. And that's a core debate as far as philosophy goes mm-hmm. and, and personality and human nature goes. Whether or not you're good or you're bad. Well, I, I don't think hu- I don't think humans are good by nature. I think society is good by nature. Okay. I don't know. I think I'll tell you that because I actually see, I'm seeing a little human growing up, mm-hmm. and like she wants to do good. You know what I mean? All right, but so- but but how much of that is because you are good? Well, I know that. All right, I'm just saying. No, like, but, but I, I feel so- like she knows. She knows. When okay. she's doing something That's wrong, more. like she okay. actually, before I even say anything to her, she will mm-hmm. cling on to me For almost sure. like I'm so sorry. But is that because you've taught her what's good and what's wrong? I don't think so. Because you don't she think is so? she is so little that there's no way that she's really embraced what I have taught her so far. Oh, kids are sponges. They are, but. Like I said, before I even said anything to her, she's like clinging on to me. Kind of like, please don't yell at me. I'm so sorry. You know? Before I even said, even if I've been, this is the first time I'm addressing something. Mm-hmm. Like, it could be something brand new that she did and she, she can feel. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. Like, I don't think that she wants to do bad. You know, I think that, like, there was a time where I was feeling really, really sad and she came up to me and she was like, she was like, what's wrong? You know, mm-hmm. like, I think that genu- generally we naturally feel empathy and we naturally want to do good. So, but good is, good changes over time too. I guess maybe, maybe I should say that I think people are naturally selfish and I think that society is naturally or society is more selfless. So can I expand on that? Interesting. I don't, I would say the opposite, but okay. Because I, I think of, I think of yes. studies where like... <laughs> Uh, yeah, the last point, and then and then you go. Yeah. Where, like, children at an early age prefer in groups, so they prefer someone who looks like them. So that kind of leads into they a. They don't want indifference. What do you say well, about no, adoption, though? How about adoption? What does that have to do with what I'm saying? Well, necessarily, people that are adopted. Okay, so don't necessarily look like what if you're black, No, no, no. That's not what adopt- I'm saying. That's not okay, what I'm saying. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, so, so what? what there, I know there was at least there was a couple studies where children preferred people who looked like them, which is a like an indicator of racism, not necessarily racism, but preferring not like, change, right? Preferring the same thing. Yeah. So is that a a selfish thing? So I don't know. I'm losing my train of thought. Right, so so how do children even know what they look like? So. Yours? Mirrors looking or at their arm. Looking at your arm, yeah. So, all right. So, can I explain that real quick? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, I personally, I believe that humans, as an individual, are selfish by nature. You, 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 me, we do nothing but to benefit ourselves. Now, it may benefit other people by default. So, let's say you're homeless and you need money, and I give you five dollars. I don't do that for you, or maybe I do, but I'm not going to do that unless it benefits me, because may, maybe it makes me feel good. But no one does anything in the world, from my opinion, unless it benefits them in some way, shape, or form. Her and I are not together because... Hello. <laughs> I love you, and I'm your own. But 
let's be honest here. You wouldn't be with me unless I benefited you in some way. Am I wrong? No. And I wouldn't, and vice versa. You, no, it's the whole thing with Emmanuel uh, Kant. It's this whole ethics theory. I wouldn't be with her if Everyone I was knows. just giving her, you know, supporting her, or, 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 you know, vice versa, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It's, a, it's a mutual benefit. Mutual it's I'm Randian. That's what I'm saying. Is humans are selfish by nature. You know, I can do anything that's gonna, unless it supports you or, or benefits you in some way, whether that's financially, physically, socially, or mentally. Even if it makes you just feels good, feel good, you're not gonna do something unless it makes you feel good in some way. Mm-hmm. That's what my beliefs are, and I think that's what human nature is. And yeah, but being selfish doesn't mean you're naturally better. Dude. Selfish in the sense of I'm only doing something to benefit me. <laughs> And that's focusing on only benefit me, benefiting well, me. Then, then and selfish in the, tense, in the sense of, of word is benefiting me and and subtracting from you, if that makes uh, probably the wrong word for that. But, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, I think that's that's kind Take of the Ayn Rand Randian it. philosophy. What is it? I, like Ayn, Ayn Rand, A-Y-N-R-A-N-D, I think. Okay. She, she wrote Atlas Shrugged. Okay. But like the idea is that we only do things for ourselves and by doing things for ourselves to make ourselves the best we can be it makes the world better right it's just a byproduct but it, it almost i don't know i'm i'm very conflicted on that because it makes sense but it also just feels like a spin mm-hmm. In, so like what do you mean spin? like it's it's a spin on on the events that happen so if i like like i bought you something for christmas right why did i do that because did i do it because it made me feel good like maybe Maybe but, I want you to feel good, and by you feeling good because you feel loved, or but, I feel better. Or, but maybe, and to be honest, don't please don't take offense. To I'm going to take offense. I'm a self, I, I, I personally, I've told her this deal. I am a selfish person. I will, be, I will admit it all day long. Yeah. I bought you a Christmas gift because I felt like I had to. And I didn't want to feel bad for buying you a Christmas mm-hmm. Christmas, <laughs> Christmas present. For buying a, yeah, yeah. So, and that's why I bought you a Christmas present. And that is selfish in nature. Okay. So maybe that's why you bought me a Christmas present. Well, no, I you can, don't want to feel like a piece of shit. No, no, no. I, <laughs> no, no, no. I can say I bought you a Christmas gift because I want you to be happy. I want you to feel like I care about you. But why would you want to? But that's what why I'm saying. Do you care? Well, well, my, but what I'm, I'm, I'm not even making an argument here. I'm just okay. expanding upon the Ayn Brandian idea. Is that by by working in self interest, you end up lifting up others right because you work hard mutual like uh, benefit yeah like like really for for you to feel like i care about you makes me feel good right which yeah. at the end of the day is just me feeling good right and that's okay yeah there's nothing wrong with that but that's still when it comes down to basic it's still selfish yeah you're not I don't doing know. those actions to unless it improves upon yourself but that doesn't change whether humans are selfish or not selfish it just like it just changed what selfish is like I, I don't know it like depends on yourself I, I, th- I think I think the connotation of selfish is that it doesn't benefit other people and you don't care about other people but you can be selfish and care about other people I care about you but I selfishly want to feel good about buying you something see me selfishness is just a matter of doing something that benefits you and you're not worried about the outcome of it as long as it makes you feel good so once you consider someone else and their feelings you no longer are selfish I feel like whatever you do, if it happens to make someone else feel good, but it still makes you feel good, then so so be it. You're not worried about like making putting somebody else down, but you want to. Your end goal is to make you feel good. Like if for cr- Christmas, I, yeah, I, I think that's Christmas. Perfect, perfect example. If I didn't worry about feeling like shit about not getting anything, I wouldn't get you shit. Mm-hmm. Why would I spend money on you? You know. Like what do you? What is that going to change? I mean, you live in Colorado. You know, you don't have the effect on my everyday life, right? But you're, you're my brother, you're my stepbrother, I and mean, you're my brother basically. You know, I yeah. grew up with you, and I want to. You know, it's Christmas time. I want to express something. I want to get you something you want. So why wouldn't I? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but that's a hard way to. No, no, no I, I get it. But well, go to the bathroom. Yeah. <laughs> but what what I'm getting at is like, what defines selfish? Because if doing in something something in self interest, whether it be at the risk of somebody else's demise or benefit, 
But okay, so R- let, regardless let's, of the outcome, I should no. Say. But let's use let's use Christmas gifts because that's a, that's an easy anchor point. Okay. I I got you something for Christmas because I care about you okay. and I want you to know that I care about you. Okay. It's not so much that. Like I want you to feel cared about. As a byproduct, like it's my secondary thought. I feel good because I made you feel good. Okay. So is that selfish? Because I've end, at the end of the chain, I feel good. So but my you. main goal is because I want you to know that I care what about you. What if you didn't feel good at the end of it? What if you felt like shit? And you, or you just felt the same way you did before that? You had no beneficial outcome to buying me a gift. My, my main thought is I want you to know that I care. But you buy me a gift. Because you believe, regardless of my reaction, mm-hmm. you believe that it'll make me feel good. And that, in turn, makes you feel good. Right, but if... if so, all right, my, so, what, so, what, so, make, so, so take the relationship between you and I out. Okay. Make us anonymous, anonymous, anonymous internet friends or mm-hmm. people. Reddit, uh, secret handle. Okay. And you buy me a gift, you send it to me, and you get no reaction. Would you do it again next year? You spend time and thoughtfulness to buy me a gift, figure out what I want, and you send it to me, but you get nothing from me. You send it to me, and that's it. Would you do it again? That same person. Mm, well, I so I, I can say that I did that, and the only reason I stopped was because... You felt you weren't appreciated. No, 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 that wasn't it. Okay. No, the reason I stopped is because I didn't have the money and I didn't have the time. But if you did have the money and time next year, but you still got no reaction. And and to to expand on this, and Andrew, actually, I, w- I would like to hear both opinions. Yeah. I'm really tired, so I'm not sure how well I <laughs> so, good of you. Reddit, you know, I know you know that is, but you know you know what that is, right? Yes. Okay. So you have Secret Santa with Reddit username of the person. You buy them a gift, you send it to them, right? Mm-hmm. But you get no response. No, I I loved it. I hated it. Whatever. You get nothing. You just send it there and that's it. That's the end of the story. Do you get it? Do you do it again the next year for that person? I would because I don't believe in coincidence. Yeah. I do. Why? Because it's not about like the like if I send somebody something, it's not about the recognition I get. It's about them feeling the joy. Why do you care if they feel good? You don't know this person. I know it doesn't matter, but it makes me feel good. Exactly. Yeah, I know. I understand. I'm not disagreeing with you, but that's how I will. But I see it from a humankind perspective where, like, I feel like, I feel like, I, like, it wasn't coincidence that I I had to do something for this person because they probably needed it. Why do you care that they need it? Because I love people. I genuinely love people. Why do you love people? Why do you care that? People. Why do you care that it makes you feel good that you're sending a gift okay. that they care about? Because it makes you feel good, right? Honestly, no. I genuinely love people because I really have a love for the human experience. But that's just me because I've honestly done a lot of studying. So you get a sense of enjoyment that you're benefiting somebody else's life other than yours. To a degree, like I so, won't. And that would you not agree that's selfish? I don't but know. But th- th- that's my thing. So if you take the the train of logic long enough you can turn it back into you get a benefit from it right but what is selfishness is it that you are purposely doing it for yourself or that you are purposely doing it for someone else and you coincidentally get a benefit from or it? vice versa is you do it for yourself and you coincidentally get well i would i think the definition of selfishness is when you do something for yourself regardless of the outcome of someone else period right. whether it's good or bad for the other person okay so i don't think that's selfish at all but, because you're getting a good outcome for the other person, where if you're getting a but bad you don't care about the person, outcome, whether it's good or bad. Oh, I care about the outcome. But you, you you're, you're, you're saying a selfish person doesn't care about the good or bad, right? Outcome, right? Exactly. Okay. But so, but, but the thing is, like, in doing good though. deeds, mm-hmm. good deeds, they're doing it to get personal benefit. But 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 you do care about the outcome. Because the only way you get no, you no, care no, about the outcome no, 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 let me finish, let me finish, let me finish, let me finish. As long as it makes you let feel me finish. Good. Okay. You, the good outcome is the only thing that makes you feel good. You don't feel good whether the the outcome is good or bad for the other person. Like if I gave you a shitty gift and you were like, I don't know, this makes me feel bad about who I am as a person. I wouldn't then feel good because I got you a gift. I got you a gift that I think you'll like, 
Right. And I did that to make you feel good, which as a byproduct makes you feel good. But the right. primary action is to make you feel good. I, I have so to I think that. that's not selfish. But I don't think people will do that. I did. People I didn't buy it just to make myself feel good. I want you to feel cared about. But okay, so what if I didn't feel cared about? What if I said, you don't know? All right, so let's say you take take the gift that you got me. Okay. And I said, fuck you, you don't know. What, what is this shit? You don't know who I am. This is bullshit. Then I That's feel gonna, bad. Exactly. You're buying that gift for me to make you feel good. No. I think... No, 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 no. Uh, like, yeah, let me... I'm so sorry. No, no, no you're, you're fine. Is, this is hard for me. <laughs> no, but then I would feel bad because... I was I was wrong. I tried to do something to make you feel and good. You're gonna do it again. What? You're, and you're gonna do it again next year. Do you're what again? Try again to buy me a gift that you think is more personal, so you don't feel bad again. No, no, no. So that you feel good. Right. But as a byproduct of you feeling. But good. a byproduct, not the I main. I feel bad. No, no, no. As don't... a byproduct, of you feeling bad. But not. But it's the byproduct, not the main focus. I'm not doing it so that I feel good because you feel good. I feel. I'm not doing it so that I can feel good. I'm doing it so that you feel good. And when you feel good, I feel like I did the thing I wanted to do. It's not a, I'm doing this so that I feel good. Okay, so let me ask you this. I just feel successful when I make you feel happy. So let me ask you this. What if you didn't make me happy? If I didn't? Yeah. Then I would feel bad. So wouldn't you consider that selfish? No. Why would you care? You, you, so I didn't like my gift from you. Okay. Why is that your fault? Because you, I was you the one who took out the time. It isn't, period. You, you took the time oh. and the thought. You. It wasn't like, you know, just, oh, well, uh, I saw this in the Target. It was on sale. I'm going to buy that for him. You took the time and the thoughtfulness to buy me a gift, mm -hmm. but I didn't like it. And you're like, well, I think I did a good job. Why should my opinion change your, your opinion? Because the goal is to make you feel cared about. So you feel like you failed. And that makes you feel bad. Yes. But what I'm saying is that... Yeah, but she was also saying, like, being selfish is... You don't care about the outcome, good or bad. Yeah. He's, and He cares about the selfless. outcome being good. No, selfish well, uh, is not okay, caring right, about right, the outcome. No, you're, yeah. Well, what I'm saying is that the focus is different. If, let's say... Let, 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 no, hold on. Let, let me go through this thought experiment. So let's say you have $100 and you can give it to a charity that you know will benefit people. Okay. If you give it to the charity because you want those people to have that $100 and to benefit, from, and to it. benefit from it, I don't think that's selfish. Because I think that you, oh, hold on, and I think that you're, you're, you're giving it selflessly because you're not, you're not concerned about the accolades. But if you're giving it to them so that you then can feel good about yourself, that then is selfish. It, de it, it just depends on what the the motivation is, what the primary motivation is. Because you can have multiple motivations. Right. I can do something nice for you and and want you to feel good, but also want to feel good that because you Because you gave good. something to somebody. Right, right, which, okay. is, which is a gift. Like, right. I, I give people things because I, I want... To feel accepted and to feel I want you to feel good, and I feel good when you do, because I care about you. Right. But it's not that I give you this thing out of obligation because I want to feel like I did what I'm supposed to do, not that I care. Okay. So I think that's where the differentiation is. Whether the, because regardless, you're going to feel good about what you did if you did it right. I think that if the secondary motivation is you feeling good, it's selfless. If the primary motivation is you, is you who you are, is but then because, selfish. But because you yeah. care about me and you're giving me a gift, it also, you giving me a gift that's gonna make me feel good, it's gonna make you feel good, and therefore it's selfish. But it's secondary. But, oh my god, All unfortunately right. this society has been so warped to feel like anything that makes you feel good makes you fucking selfish, and that's not true. Just like, self-love isn't selfish either, because you cannot pour from an empty cup kind of thing. So it's, I know- self-love is selfish, and, but- But it isn't, though. How is it not? Because if, you, are you hurting someone? No. So. What, what I mean, does the definition- It depends. Are you hurting someone that has a neurological deficiency? Not your problem. But, but, you need to work but on what, that. what is the definition of, of selfish? Selfish. That's Do what we're getting at. That's what we're outcome. getting at. But like right. honestly, well, well, if I get you a gift and you don't like it, then it's no longer my problem. That's right. It's my problem. That's something you need to exactly. work on. Exactly. But, yeah. but it's it's a matter of did I just go to Target and buy the first thing I saw that was on sale because it was cheap for me? And probably I probably not though. Most if likely. If you put thought in mm -hmm. 
sentiment into that gift and you gave it to me and I thought, said, well, I don't like this gift. Mm -hmm. That's my problem. That's Correct. not your problem. Correct. But if so you... How does that make someone selfish? How does that make someone selfish? Because you gave that gift with the intention making them feel good, which made you feel good. You just because said, you didn't want well, that person to make you feel good. Hold, hold on, Donovan. Listen to what she's about to say. Right, you sorry. just said the intention was to make you feel good. How is that selfish? The intention is because for you. As a result of that person feeling good, uh -huh. you feel like you did a good deed, and that is the selfish nature That's of it. secondary. That's not true. Because just, honestly, love isn't selfish. And it's honestly done out of love, period. Why do you take care of Colton? No, really. <laughs> Why do you take care of Colton? Why do you pick up his shit when he shits on the sidewalk? I mean, uh, well, one, not because of him, because it's somebody else's property. I don't want to deal with. I don't want them to have to deal with that, and I don't want them to have to deal with that because I would feel like shit if somebody else did that to me, and there was that selfishness. I. What was the original question? I'm saying. Well, my point no, no, is. What was the original question? Sorry. It was why do you take care of Colton? Because having a dog brings me joy of one having company outside of Andrea no offense I love you <laughs> but you're not a dog when she's not there <laughs> and entertainment in a sense of well whatever humans are entertained by as far as animals go I throw a ball and he fetches it and brings it back to me but is that that feels so much like a justification, not a real reason. It feels like you're justification you're, as far as no. It feels like you're you're diving deeper into the selfishness or yeah. It, it feels like you're you you have a preconceived notion of why you do things, mm -hmm. and that you're then justifying it in that way. I'm then you may be right. Real thing. I'm like I, like I, I mean, I've seen you interact with Colton. Okay. I don't think you you let him sleep in your bed because you feel better about yourself. I think you care about him <laughs> he's just staring <laughs> i think you care about him as a life form and you want him to be happy so you and let him yeah, sleep in your bed know, it, you, know, you know i'm not dismissing that but doing that makes me feel good but is that the primary action are you doing are you only letting him sleep in your bed because you no. feel good about it and then you resent him the I whole time i wouldn't have gotten him in the first place if it didn't make me feel good and that's where something. But that that's just that's just human chemical reaction. That is dopamine release. Exactly. And I honestly, if you're gonna be if you wanna look at it spiritually, I think it's almost like your soul giving you a response of, Hey, you did something correct. It, it's literally like that dopamine release is a, a, a spiritual response of you did something correct. <laughs> right. You know? And that's selfishness. Almost like almost like the guidance thing. You're always looking about. for that fix of that dopamine release or it's whatever. It's not looking for the fix, it's looking for guidance. And guidance is not a fix. You know what I'm saying? We're always trying to evolve to be better, right? So if but you're, that's your if you're you're looking for the next dopamine thing. But that's not true because unconditional is a real existing thing. You can unconditionally love something. Okay, I, so I know that from experience. You can unconditionally love something. I love somebody so much that gives zero to me. Zero. So, <laughs> like, all right, all right. So, she doesn't all right. give me anything. <laughs> Forgive me. I don't know your two relationship. <laughs> yeah, I was talking about you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Not Riley. <laughs> all right, so say you're in a romantic relationship with a person. Uh huh. Josh, whoever, I don't, again, I don't know your relationship. And, and say for you, you and I, oh, no. say I become a huge burden of you, and he becomes a burden of you. You gain nothing. You are just constantly taking care of him. There's no benefit of him. He's just taking care mm -hmm. of, or he's taking advantage of you for the rest of your life. Would you continue? I mean, you might continue for, for a certain amount of time. But after a certain point, you say, fuck this. This is getting annoying. Can, can we spin it to just be a child? Let's do okay. both. Let's do both. Okay. All right. But, all right. All right. But let me say this real quick before you go off on your thing. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So child circumstances. Okay. So you have a child. Yes, they are a burden on you. But eventually they're going to become successful. And they're going to be their own entity. Maybe. And there's... Maybe. Exactly. Well, hopefully. But that's what know. you're hoping for. And, and in most cases, they become their own entity and it becomes success, successful in whatever you perceive that to be. And that is your, you're like, you say, yeah, I made that. That is my child and he is successful because of me. 
and that is your selfishness because I feel Wait, like that's a hard she's argument she's to make when you haven't had a kid. Love. All right, oh, so I have two people talking about yeah. it. Yeah. She's, talk, she's talking about unconditional love, not selfishness. Right, I understand that, but he, his argument was the child. And yeah, that he, is my... he's bringing the child into the argument of unconditional love. Okay, well, I, I'm sorry, I view those as two separate things. No. Okay. Because I had it. I'll tell you this real quick. I'll make it very abridged for you. I had every reason in the world not to have my child. Okay. Every reason in the world not to have her. And why is that? Because I, you're selfish or did you just no, take the burden? I did it because I know that she didn't ask for this. So, meaning it was unconditional. I had already bonded with this human being. Wait, well, yeah, I'm sorry, I'm lost. Okay. So, so, I had every reason in the world not to have her. Yeah, every reason in the world not to have your child. After I found out. Okay. I, so, you did not intend to have a child. Correct. And you were like, all right, well, I'm pregnant. Right. Well, here. Exactly. So, here, buddy. I already have a, a bond with this person that I don't even know yet, right? Because she didn't ask for it. And I feel also, I'm a person who doesn't believe in coincidences. Okay. So there's a factor. There's a reason for it. I do not believe in coincidence. Okay? Now, it's hard. It's very hard. The situation is extremely difficult, especially in a broken home. But I still give her everything. She gives me nothing in return. Right. It's not right now. How do I know that later on she's not going to choose her dad as her favorite, right? But I still give her everything that I have. But see, the thing is, is, even if your child is a complete failure, and you're in a deathbed, you're, you're dying, you're five minutes from death, you know you're about to die, and you've given up mm -hmm. cancer or whatever, and you have your child they're a heroin addict and they're just scum of the earth. Would you still be proud of your child? You would you be? But that would mean I no. had to be the heroin addict. No, 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 no. <laughs> For my no. child to be a heroin addict. No, 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 no. He's oh, saying oh, oh, he's saying that in twenty off. years. Right, okay. right. So you're de you're on your deathbed. They are a full grown adult, and they've disowned you. You have disowned them. You are on your deathbed. Truth be told. And I, I know that's a hard thing to like it imagine. Is, it's hard because I would never mold her to be that way okay maybe her dad maybe right. she might be a coke addict who knows right i don't know but i personally know that i didn't do that i don't feel like i can i feel like you can only control what you can control right but you it. feel like so you're on your deathbed uh -huh. five minutes from death uh -huh. you're 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 saying your last words basically still and love her you still love her and still you were aware that she is a, the scum of the earth. And again, I mean, no offense. No, yeah. Please don't take that away. Theoretical. It's theoretical. theoretical. This is all hypothetical. It's not Riley, it's right. Biley. Right. This, this, is, this is all hypothetical. But she's a scum of the earth. Piece of shit. You know, stolen from you, stolen from everybody. Takes advantage of everybody. She's a heroin addict, drug addict, whatever. Do you still love them? Of course. Okay. Do you regret having them? Not at all. Why? They, well, they are drained aside and everybody they meet. Why do you not regret having them? Because there is, there's a lot that goes into it. Right, there is, and I agree. There's years of ancestry, there's things that are unseen sort of surrounding this person and in this person, you know. Um, it's it's very hard to describe, but unconditional, like I said, unconditional love, where you don't necessarily reap the benefit is a thing that exists. You reap the benefit in knowing that. No. Nope. No, she, that's not what she's talking about. No, nope. she's talking Okay, right. No, she, no, no, no. I'm case scenario, and I know I still love Right, right. And <laughs> I'm giving you the worst case scenario to benefit my right. bias. Uh -huh. That's how these arguments debates work. Right. right. Debates work. That's that's she's that's talking about unconditional love. Right. And not right. Unconditional love. Means but the I thing have is, zero conditions. Yeah, for zero exact zero. <laughs> she's not to con anything. consciously there are zero conditions. Well, okay. You finish your thing okay. and then let me go. Subconsciously, your human nature, take your conscious brain, your primal instinct, is to reproduce. And you are leaving this world knowing that you carried on your gene, and that is your benefit. It, it no, sounds like no, any, it sounds like what you're saying is that anything that gives you any sort of dopamine is selfish. Yes. No. And that's why we do anything in the world. Is but that, but no, 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 those are two different things. Getting a, a pleasure from it and selfishness are two separate things. Correct. You don't care about the outcome with selfishness. 
Yeah, but so we're trying to tell you, and you keep on bringing out computers. <laughs> <laughs> like again, to no, go back okay. to the okay. gift. Right, we'll I don't know. Donovan, 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 Donovan. Okay. Uh, to go back to the <laughs> gift. I don't buy you a gift because I feel good about it. I be I I buy you a gift because I want you to feel good, and by a byproduct, I end up feeling good. But the primary action is not so that I feel good. Because if, right. if I did it just so I felt good, I would just do cocaine every day. Right. I would just do drugs all day. Because that will give me the dopamine like that. But what I want is that for you to feel good and feel that I care about you. But and that you as my brother, you're important to me. Of that, and that's no. No, 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 but just, not, just because you feel a benefit doesn't make it selfish. You may not think that in your conscious mind, but your body... Define your... selfish. Define a selfish action. Something that gives you pleasure. That, your brain, the, your I disagree subconscious with that. brain, your primal I disagree instinct, with that. I, I do, your I just, brain minus your conscience. Donovan, conscience. Your I brain disagree. is a machine. No, no, listen. I, dis- I disagree with that definition of selfishness. Okay. That's just a definition of cause and effect. Okay. Mm-hmm. I... Okay. So, so this whole this whole argument is will never go anywhere because we disagree on what selfishness means. All right, so you're saying agree to disagree. Kind of. I'm yeah, more saying that you're wrong, and I think you need to learn because you'll figure it out eventually. I mean, are, I get what you're what? saying, but I think I think that's wrong. And I think that's what? a wrong Maybe definition you're right, of selfishness. Maybe you're right. I hope you are. And if it's enlightening to me in the future, I hope it is. But personally, I think humans as a nature are selfish. I will be the first to admit I am a selfish person. I've told her, and I will tell you guys, I am a selfish person. By that definition of selfishness. Wait, the, well, your definition your definition As is that, anything, you do that something, you, anything that you feel good about is selfish yes I think that's a bad definition you do everything you do to make yourself feel good in some way that's not what I asked. shape or form that's not what I asked that's, uh, that's what I'm saying what I'm saying is that your definition of selfish is inaccurate okay I'm saying that is Maybe a definition is. of of reward system right but okay. selfishness I think I think Jess is Definition okay, is right, much fine, more so take, accurate. So fine, take selfishness out of the equation. I think every human in the world seeks a reward. Yeah, we're machines. And they will not do anything in the world unless they get a reward from it. Okay, but then it's like, okay. To me, that's selfishness. That's, that's what is what selfishness That's what I'm saying is that's, that's an inaccurate definition okay, of selfishness. Okay, so my definition of selfishness, selfishness is wrong. That's what I think, yes. Okay, not all right, then I will me. agree. <laughs> so, okay. Not necessarily wrong, but probably should be tweaked slightly, right? So not, wrong. Not, not that it's completely. Wrong. Okay, I'll it's say it. You're very sweet. You're wrong. wrong and dumb and stupid, <laughs> and I love you, but you're dumb I and stupid. I wish more people were more direct about that. I'll tell you this. For example, like we we do we all are based off of reward system, but right. that's that's how we not fall into like deep depression and want to die. Honestly, no, it's true. Let me tell you oh, something. Sorry. Sorry. Hey, cool. uh, again, sorry. I can only relate it to motherhood because it was the biggest thing in my life. So, antenatal depression is a real thing. Oh, sorry. Antenatal oh. depression. Antenatal. Antenatal. You become okay. depressed oh, while, after, while like, you're after postpartum. While you're pregnant. Yeah, there we go. Postpartum. And then we have postpartum. So imagine being pregnant, depressed while you're pregnant, oh. and then postpartum depression. Okay. There's a, a weirdly babies actually have the smell that they have that molecular formula of whatever emanates from their body is actually a reward system for the mother to help her with her postpartum depression so there is a strange connectedness in absolutely everything and that's why i believe in connectedness so much right because of that right so, so that doesn't make me selfish i want to smell my baby like oh it makes me feel good but it's actually just a natural biological response between the two things. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, no, I, I, no, I understand what you're saying. So, okay, sorry. No, I, just, I had to throw that in there. I, no, no, I think that, that, that brings up a really good angle because I don't, I think that selfishness requires a higher level than just biochemical reactions. Like, I don't think that a a tiger is selfish for killing an for killing an animal i think it's just acting on instinct because okay it, so, it, but right. i think that we can be selfish so so if we do the same thing if i may you and you and i'm assuming you <laughs> are all human you all three of you consider selfish as a negative connotation yeah 
Yeah. Typically. It's, yeah. it's, 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 it's by my it's definition of selfish, yes. It's you benefiting, benefiting, you benefiting, benefiting from it, and she suffering from it. Yes, benefiting without... You sacrificing with, her for your benefit. I not Not necessarily sacrificing, but disregarding what happens to others for my benefit. Okay. All right. Well, maybe that's my... Miss, miss, fun. Hey. Misinterpretation of the word selfishness. Mm-hmm. Maybe I don't have a word for what I am talking about. Okay. I think you're writing somewhere in between selfless and selfish. Maybe I am. This is why we have to define terms at the beginning. Yeah. <laughs> because we like we went through like a 45 minute conversation and it was fun. I'm All not. Right. I'm not like I'm not upset we had it, but we were going off of two completely different right. definitions of selfish. So if I'm saying X, it doesn't translate to Y. You all know? right, yeah. So to summarize, summarize it all, I believe a human, outside of current groups, humans in general, mm-hmm. will do nothing unless it benefits them, dopamine-wise, prim- primarily, primarily-wise. Mm-hmm. You understand what I'm saying? And benefits them in some way dopamine chemical feeling whatever in some way they will not do it if it makes them feel bad they have to feel good as Mm -hmm. an end result in some way shape or form that is human nature Mm -hmm. so your your argument that is that if a human does not if, if you're human if a human does not get a dopamine release from doing an action they won't do it exactly okay that is my that is my argument Call it what you want. I call it selfishness. I agree with that. I disagree that it's selfishness. Okay. All right. Fair enough. That's my definition of selfishness. Okay. But Wikipedia, think, whatever. Yeah. General population. Yeah. I, th- I, think that's, I think that's an incomplete definition of selfishness. Okay. And I think this is why I like astrology so much. Because in my mind, it like depends on where Virgo, Libra, and Cancer are in your chart. That has to deal with the kind of dopamine response you get from doing what? You know, I get a dopamine response and I'm lucky enough to get paid for it that like I give back to people every single day, but people pay me for it. So that's what my ego does. My ego behaves in a certain way, in a nurturing way to get what I want. Right. So whereas some people might behave in a more corporate way or a more aggressive way. Right. Or they don't whatever. care about your customers and result and how they feel afterwards. You just as long as you get paid. That's not true. Well, no, no, no. That by by his definition of selfish, you are. No, 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 you, no, no. not you, but the corporation. No, no, no but no, general. no, no. By your definition of what selfish is, she would be selfish because she enjoys what she does. By, I would say the large majority of people, she's not selfish because the entire time she's putting in hard hours. But like she has to work hard. But to she's give, yeah. to do what I she's do. doing. Significant. No, 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 no. Let me, no, no, no. Okay. Your definition, I agree. Okay. Yeah. My definition, and I think Andrea's and Jess's definition, General she's population. not being selfish because okay. she's she's benefiting somebody else more than she is herself. Maybe not more, but she's benefiting others and she cares about how those other people come she out. She doesn't care about. I'm actually the, taking away from outcome. myself. I would, I would agree. But in the end result, in okay, the end so result, I get paid. However, at some but point, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Right, so Sam, I'm a massage client. Mm-hmm. You massage me, and like I have chronic pain. I come in, you massage me. I feel. Oh my god, you relieve me of all my pain. I'm cured for the time <laughs> being. And I'm sorry if that's an extreme or exaggeration. No, it's okay, it's funny. I don't understand <laughs> this stuff. But anyways, so I pay you. Like, oh my god, I'm so thankful you for money. Yeah, here's a tip, whatever. So not only do you get your monetary value, now I can feed my child and feed myself, mm-hmm. put a roof on my head. But not only that, you get the sense of, wow, that I made a difference in that person's life. Uh-huh. But and you yeah, get what's your point dude, this, though? That's, but you that, again, get that benefit I again. That is your definition of selfish. I have to take away uh, yes. from myself to get. And I have to take time away from my child. I have to physically but hurt myself does. sometimes. But that doesn't do that it. doesn't help your argument. No, it doesn't yeah, yeah. help that at all. What I'm saying is that your definition of selfish is anything that gives you dopamine okay. boost, which which Where you automatically okay. makes okay. every action you make selfish. So you 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 started a non. A not what's the word? It, it's not an argument that can be changed because it, it's one hundred percent true. 
What I'm saying is that selfish is when you don't care about the outcomes of the other people. You only care about what happens to you. Uh, but... Yeah, like right, if, I, right. if I did a shitty job just because I look a certain way. Right, and it, that it was would only be a different story. You got to make it me, ends meet, and that's the benefit of you. My argument is, what if making you feel good? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What if making someone else feel good is what makes you feel good? And that, is to it, me, is selfishness in the most primal, basic form. Right, but again, look, I, I take a second and look at the other definition. Okay. So take take out that you have a stake in your side of the argument because I agree. If we're using your definition of selfishness, one hundred percent, every action you do is selfish because you will not do an action if you don't get dopamine from it. In, so, in yeah, some way, a benefit in some way, shape, or form. I do, specifically dopamine. Okay. What 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 I'm saying and what Jess is saying is that you can. Regardless of the, the biochemical reaction, you can do something because you want someone else to feel good. That right. is your main thought, your main, not your reptile or monkey brain, it's your human brain that's thinking, again, gifts. I buy a gift for you because I want you to know that I care about you. But, I want you to feel cared about. Right. That is the primary thought. And I'm not arguing Which that. wouldn't, well, okay. you are. Because what you're saying is that the most important definition of selfishness is that if you get you get a dopamine boost from it. What I'm saying is that is a biochemical reaction. And okay. if, you, if you say... You cannot help biochemical reactions. Right. No, you can't. But here's the thing is, okay, say, say you're bad at gift giving or maybe you suck at, at massaging and you don't get that benefit from it, that biochemical lizard brain... Right, then she wouldn't do it. Benefit. Exactly. But that doesn't make it selfish. To me... Oh, okay. Oh, all right. Well, then. Again... You, I need you to t- take take a second because you keep you keep looking I, at it I, through I, your you. definition of selfishness. What's my definition of selfishness? So you are saying that someone else's benefit can trump your benefit of no. that dopamine release. No, nope, not what I'm saying. Okay, maybe I'm misunderstanding. What I'm saying is that the right, primary our, focus. Can we pause real quick? Yeah, I gotta take a piss. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> she's already in the bathroom. I'm gonna go. Oh shit! You're just gonna go in the corner. Yeah. Okay. I have to untie this. My hands makes it for this fire. Are you really? Yeah. <laughs> you? I want to make it a podcast. You fucking nerd. <laughs> I'll cut this out, maybe. I'll ask everyone to make sure they, they're okay with it. This part to make sure that. I'm no, this will be part of it. I, I like podcasts that are just like fly on the wall. I love you so much. I love you so much. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much for like letting me be here and not making me feel like I'm in pinching. Of course, no, I'm so happy with you. Like tonight's ten times better. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Really? Mm-hmm. I love you, baby. I love you. I'm like getting in real quick. <laughs> <laughs> okay, back to normal. What? Yeah. What? I'm sorry, what? We're Shut nerds. up, bitch. <laughs> Damn women. All right, all right, all right. I'm okay, sorry. so what I'm right, saying, rewind a little bit. Okay, okay. and Andrew, you, if you can just call him out when I'm, if he's, as he's, long as I'm making sense, he's if I'm making sense, my case. Yeah. What I'm, what I'm saying is that you are looking at this argument only from your definition of selfishness. Okay, yeah. which is selfish. I will agree with that. <laughs> <laughs> when, you're right. Okay, now take a second. Rid your mind of your definition of selfish. Empathize. You can do it. You're a strong, independent man. What I'm saying is that... No, 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 hold on. My definition of selfish is if you do something with the primary intent to make yourself feel better. It is not selfish if your primary... If you're not selfish, if your primary intent is... Hold on. It is not... Repeat that. Repeat that. I will. So let me finish my <laughs> spiel. Okay. It is selfish if your primary intent is to make yourself feel better. Yes. It is not selfish if your primary intent is to make someone else feel better. That's a very rough definition. So, yes. All right. So, what if your primary intent is to make someone else feel, get, feel better, but you feel like shit afterwards and it's a huge burden on you? So, again, we'll go back to Christmas. 
That's not selfish. That's just then that's selfless. That's shit, yeah, that's just shitty. So, love. so that's doing yeah. something so that someone okay, else will feel right, better, so, and you happen so, to feel worse. Okay, afterwards. Let's take that's also insecurity, though, manifesting itself. I mean, it maybe. All right, all right, I'm sorry. All right, please, <laughs> please hold on to that thought. I'm so I want to. I want to. No, no. I want to address that in a second. What time is it? It's love the human condition. Okay. All right. Can we finish this and go to bed? Okay. Okay. Yeah, it's three. All right. So, go back to Christmas. That's okay. a. So your intent is to make someone feel better, feel good, better, whatever, regardless of how you feel at the end, right? So you spend a lot of time, energy, money, to make the, to make me, you're gifting me, to make me feel good. I love my gift, but now you can't pay your bills. That's selfless. That is selfless. Yeah. Next year, are you going to do the same thing? Next, you, know, you have to spend months recovering this time period, this December, you have to spend up until March You're recovering from this. You're in debt. Depends on how you are. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. I'm, I'm going extreme. No, no, I know. I'm, I'm saying maybe I would so, do the same so thing. So maybe you're, you're in debt. You, you have all this interest. You have lost time because you have to work more to make up this debt. Time, money, yada, 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 yada. A sacrifice, plain and simple, to make up for you giving me this gift until March whatever date. Are you going to do it next year? Maybe. Why? You benefited nothing from it. So? Unless... That would be selflessness. Right. It would be. But why would you keep doing that if it just kept being a burden on you? Selflessness. You gain nothing from it. Selflessness. Doesn't matter. It's still selflessness. Well, what I'm saying, you, you're still looking at it as the only you definition... No, no, first... stop, okay, stop. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You're, all, you're still looking at it as the definition of selfishness is doing something that gets you a dopamine boost. Right. I'm saying ignore that. For the sake of argument, to, to empathize where I'm coming from, look at it as a motivation. To make someone feel good. Over yourself, where the main focus is someone else feeling good. Okay, so but by byproduct, you feel good because you made someone else feel good, right? That, but you're, you're again, you're looking at it from your definition. I, I, know, it, I know it's hard because like that's, that's how what you think. Okay. What I, and I, I get what you're saying. If if the definition of selfishness is you get a dopamine boost from it, every single action you ever do that you do that you repeat is selfish. That's my argument. Yes. Right. What I'm saying is that is a bad definition of selfishness. Okay. I think a, a better definition because I don't think selfishness can describe a biochemical reaction. I think selfishness is a motivation descriptor. So if I buy you something because I want you to feel good. And by proxy or by, by, by effect, I feel good, that is secondary. That's but that not my was main not focus. Your main intent. Right. It was to make you Correct. feel good. It was to make me feel good. And I just don't happen to also feel good because okay. like you feeling good makes me feel good. All That's right. what I'm getting at. Okay, then I can agree with you that. Can we please define what I consider human nature? Or is it just human nature? Wait, what do we okay, that's an that's so, a new so, one. so what I consider selfishness is not the definition of selfishness selfishness by general population given present company. Yeah, that, right? that makes it hard to talk about. Andrea, you consider what I consider selfishness is not what you consider selfishness, right? Josh? What yeah, I consider Yeah, I, I disagree on your definition. Okay. So what what I whatever it is that I just discussed that I thought was selfishness, what the fuck do I call it then? What is that? Just human nature? I think that's an extreme of behavioral or human behavior. Just risk and yeah, reward. It's just a, an extreme human behavior. Okay. That is it. All right. It's, it's, yeah. It's honestly that simple. It's just the thing. So it's it's like you have a machine, like a car won't run without gas. Right. A human won't act without dopamine. Right. It's not a motivation. It's just the fuel that makes us do anything we do ever. So but the way that we get our dopamine, the way that we get our gas... You don't drive to get gas. Well, you do drive. It, it's, a, it's a loose metaphor. My, my point is that, that dopamine is not... The end product that you... See. It's, it's like a way to get to things. And we can have dopamine in different ways. Like we can have different qualities of fuel. We can have different qualities of dopamine. And my, you, my, you can have different... Sources of fuel, I guess, would be the better way to find that. And quality, I think that I mean, I I would right. argue that that okay. it's a more quality dopamine boost to make other people feel better than to just make yourself feel better. Yes. Because you can 
if you get to the top and you're alone, exactly. what what is the point of being at the top? Are you even living at all? But like, you can get, you, you, don't but, you happy but the thing is, mm-hmm. you can love somebody and be at the top and want to share being at the top with somebody or people, not just one single person. And maybe you want to get to the person to get to the top to share it with multiple people. I kind of lost what you're saying. Yeah, yeah that's, so that's, that's no longer selfish because now you want to share. So but you're that sharing. destroys that argument. That's not to, selfish. To, it's selfless. You're sharing to make other people feel good, selfless. which in turn nope. makes you feel good. So selfless. why, though, are you even giving it <laughs> but that's away? Just, that's, just not, again, that's not a definition of that's, selfish. It's, but it's necessary right, I, for human survival and for humans right, to thrive. I, you know what? I'm wrong. My definition of selfish <laughs> for the love of God, someone give me a definition of what the fuck I'm describing. Again, it's an you're, extreme you're, of human behavior. It's an extreme where you are in excess. I think it's of a common for yourself of only. human behavior. It it is how and human humans behave. Break it down to ones and zeros. Humans behave in the way they do in order to get some sort of benefit from it. In some way, shape, or form, and so end result. okay. Don't don't look at dopamine releases as a conscious. No, they're not conscious. It's like something you're. That that's what selfish and selfishness, or selfishness, and selflessness are not are are conscious right things. I'm saying everything we do is is, is driven a, unconsciously. So then it way. can't be selfless or selfish or selfish. Okay. And seen that? And That's what I'm saying. I'm right saying that, that. Look, but that look right at there it. Hold just on. Clicked with me. Okay. Good. Cool. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> that's not sarcastic. I'm just no, it's no, three no. in the morning. So that, that's what I'm saying is that you're you're looking at biochemical reactions, which are just the way that things One, work. There are there ones and zeros. It's it's physics. It's physics. It's like physics if physiology. you pick something up, it will drop. Right. The only way we do things is by being, is by getting it in some way. Risk yeah. and reward. Because it's the only thing that tells our body, oh, the thing you did is good. So, so what I'm describing is just basically just human nature. It, it and selfish almost is less, a barely bad term for it's it. It's deeper than human nature. It's just the it's the an chemical of it. <laughs> but extreme implies that it's, it's still human nature. It's it's just yes. the way we work. It's but the way that our machines work. So our survival. meat bodies work. Survival. Right. It's either. But the thing is, is there is a happy medium. But you're saying here's one on the spectrum, and here's ten on the spectrum. And so we're saying we're saying that five is a thing, and you're like, no, <laughs> it's either one or it's ten, and we're like, no, but five is a thing. You no, know? only one is. Well, zero and saying, ten exist. Does that make sense? Yeah, nine yeah. yeah, yeah. You're describing. You were using selfishness to describe a biochemical reaction that is really more of a so that a we can't fuel control of human. Yeah, yeah. And and I'm and we're saying that selfish and selfless. Is are conscious, conscious choices. choices. Okay. That am I, am I describing things right? Uh, yeah, I would say so. Andrea? Andrea? I'm so dead. I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's, let's, let's wrap it up. Let's wrap it up. Let's go to sleep. <laughs> All right. I agree with you in that I was wrong in my use of, term, of, use of the word selfishness and selflessness. Mm-hmm. Do you agree with me? That I by your wrong? term of your old definition of selflessness, as selfishness. Far as unconscious human nature is correct. In a sense. Yes, I think that we don't do anything without dopamine. All right. Okay. Really? And essentially, <laughs> agree to disagree. Hug it out. That's a nice Christmas hug. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> Merry Christmas, you All fucks. All right. Let's go to bed as you have been begging me to go to bed. For like the last three hours. Yeah. <laughs> I am sorry you had to deal with that. Oh. It's great. We I don't get these kind of conversations all the time. So oh, it's, it's rare. We I get to enjoy them while I can. 